Hello, supercars in seconds here. Today, one of the more magnificent and more elegant supercars in the world. Let me point you at the car. The Aston Martin DBS Superleggera Volante, meaning convertible, of course. This beautiful folding top, it's an electric top, but just makes for a magnificent looking car. Let me close up this door. Bit of a, we got a bit of thunder and lightning in the area, so I'm just gonna <laughs> try not to get struck, but look at that shape, 185 inches long, 77 inches wide, so she's wider than a lot of the other Aston Martins. And this big, huge grill just makes for a wonderful, look at that view, <laughs> there's the old rear view mirror, it looks like it's gonna eat you. But when I get up close to this grill, it looks like you almost press these buttons, <laughs> it'll pop up and pop down. Really lovely, going back to the Aston Martin Vulcan, of course, which was the first to have these crazy shapes. And we'll come back now and have a look at the powertrain. So to open the hood, each side of the car, there's these little tabs. Just pull it there and let go. I've already released the one the other side allowing me to now open up the great big clamshell. Look at this thing, it's all carbon fiber, as is the rest of the bodywork. Look at that. It's so enormous from the front. We'll come back to the powertrain now in a moment. I just wanted to show you this enormous clamshell. Look at the size of this thing. It goes around the headlights, so the headlights are in there. So it's the full width of the car. It has to be one of the biggest carbon panels on the market, I'm sure. I love the little details that then you can see in here. Look at all these crazy shapes. 16.1 inch, great big rotor there. Look at this thing, unbelievable. Look at all this aluminum work, very, very impressive. As far as the powertrain itself, it says right on a 5.2 twin turbo 12 cylinder, producing 715 horsepower and 900 Newton meters of torque, 664 pounds of torque. An absolutely amazing experience. It's a heavy car, she's just over 4,100 pounds and driving the rear wheels here, but these great big wheels, great big brakes really make for a very dynamic car in the Aston Martin world. So engine running now with the roof down. Look at this two-tone seat, it's so beautiful. And these crisscross, these actual stitches all the way through. Rear seat's obviously very cramped, but better than you think, the front seat is, seat is shaped, these are all the way back, that front seat is shaped to get people in there. It's really, this person has to slide their seat forward to, to get you in. I'm not sure I wanna sit behind the driver, but it is, would be useful if I had small children, perhaps, that could easily fit back here. Aston Martin always make a very elegant car, but I think the DBS Superleggera is the epitome of that. This is one of my favorite shapes they've ever done. Very muscular on the rear here, but incredibly sleek. And as you saw when this was open, you can see all these lovely shapes in there that really push air around the way they want it to. And again, the Superleggera, going back to the old Aston Martin DB5 from years ago, had that Superleggera on the hood there. We have just a reference back to that, meaning super light because the full body is made of carbon fiber. So I'm gonna reach under here. There's a little button just under here, a little rubber button, push on that. It actually reminds me of the door handles on a McLaren. They look a bit like that too. But now if you notice the body itself, look, is carbon fiber. This whole trunk lid is carbon fiber visual. And then a nice size uh, trunk there. We've got the car cover, some a wind deflector in here. So a smaller trunk, but still very nice and, and very useful. Because of that twin turbo 12 cylinder, we have these four big monster exhaust pipes, but let me start the car up and you can have a listen to it. Well, I hope you're enjoying the video. This is really a, a fun car. Please, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on the video. Give me a comment, tell me what you think. Would you buy this or would you buy a McLaren, a Ferrari? What would you get? This is really a, a beautiful car. 
I would previously before I drove it I was thinking this is going to be more like um like a Bentley convertible that sort of thing and I think that's more DB11 this is powerful let me tell you the 715 horsepower feels like 715 horsepower Okay, so roof down because why not? <laughs> this little button here uh, is my powertrain. So it says S was for sport there and I got it shown here as sport. If I push this forwards, it then goes into sport plus. Push it again and it goes back to GT. So that's the softest mode. Then I push it one more time and it opens up baffles inside the exhaust. So you hear them opening up straight away there. Let's wake her up incredible the one this size my suspension now shown down in in the little display right here push it forwards and we, we go into sport mode push it again goes into sport plus so let's put the whole thing into sport plus and uh, everything's gone red now very cool looking and let's take her into batman's corner all right let's run her down into batman's corner here just flat out man it picks this thing up very very quickly Amazing power. All right, let's hit it. All right, big 16 inch brakes, 16.1 inch, big carbon ceramics. Ooh. Yeah, really good. The car is much, much more athletic than you might think. I've driven Aston Martins a lot. Working at the different automotive group, we have Aston Martin amongst the Rolls Royce, Bentley, Astons, etc., McLarens. This is not what you're expecting from an Aston Martin. The power is just insane. It's just, it's there right away. It's through the third gear. Oh. Amazing, really amazing. Um, how such a big car, it is big, it's very wide. It feels big on the road. And it's, it'll surprise you how quick she is. So just driving her in the Sport Plus mode. Very impressed. I love the sounds out of the exhaust. I'll touch it. <laughs> it's constant. The pops and bangs are constant. But the power... I don't know if the speakers are picking up that whistling from the turbos, but it's very impressive to hear it in person. Into this hard right-hander. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a big car. Okay, so I put the roof up now, and you still get a ton of sound coming through from the rear. <laughs> Incredible. The roof down experience is better, of course, um, but still very nice. It's not quiet in here. It is um, dominated by that big V12 soundtrack. I think that's a nice compliment to this car. The 12 cylinder engine is a, a dying breed these days. Everything's going to be a, a three cylinder with an electric motor soon. It's, it's, it's coming. Okay, that's moving. <laughs> oh my God, into the hard right hander. Incredible, wow. Yeah, much more athletic, I think is the compliment of the day for this car. It's obviously a very large, beautiful looking, very elegant coupe. The roof coming off uh, changes it. It does. I've driven the car before, as you know, as the, as the coupe. But this Volante, the convertible, changes the experience completely. It gives you a much more involving experience. Still a firm ride. Uh, so yeah, I mean, got the suspension in Sport Plus for this whole uh, this whole journey, and I think that's kind of nice. It changes the car dramatically. If I go click click on that one, back to GT, and click click on this one. Back to the comfort, oh hang on, back to Sport, hang on. Sport Plus, there it goes, back to GT. Now the sound's gone straight away, the exhaust is closed, and it's changed the personality of the car. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's expensive, but there's reason. It's uh, the carbon fiber body, it's massively expensive. You saw that clamshell when we looked at the powertrain. It's really a, a first class car. Well, thanks again for watching the car, it is, uh this has been a fun one. I've enjoyed it very much. Please leave a comment down below. Thanks for all the comments I've been getting. They've been some really fun things saying and some obvious things I hadn't really thought of. So I appreciate you getting involved. I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for watching.